Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your Archangel Messages. And this is for, from now to the end of April 2020, as I am releasing these a little early. So this is for the sign of Virgo. Hope you're well Virgo. So I'm going to begin by pulling a message from Archangel Gabriel. So what do we have Archangel Gabriel for Virgo? What is the message? Thank you. Oh wow, you've got the same that Taurus had. Success. Congratulations, you did it. And obviously success can in be, be in many forms. But there's a reasons to celebrate here. Beautiful. Okay, Archangel Raphael, God's healer. Also very much associated with our health. So sometimes you get very practical messages from this Archangel. <laughs> what do we have for Virgo, please? Archangel Raphael, what is the message for Virgo? Thank you. Thank you. Oh good, I think this is linked to the success. Leave a stressful situation behind. Now this won't be for everybody, so if it resonates with you. We have Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage and willingness to take good care of myself, including surrounding myself with healthy relationships and positive situations. That is the message for you. Okay, we have Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what is the message, please, for Virgo? Now, Michael is a powerful warrior angel, also a protector as well. So, asks us to be in our power, protects us. So, what do we have, Archangel Michael, for Virgo? Now, till the end of April 2020, what is the message for Virgo? <coughs> Thank you. Have confidence. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Okay, and finally, before we get into the tarot cards, we have Archangel Metatron. So what is the message, Archangel Metatron? Now to the end of April 2020, what is the message, Archangel Metatron, that Virgo needs to hear? Two cards. Wow, Kundalini, untapped energy. This is about tapping your potential as well, I'm feeling for some of you. Um, yeah. And we have letting go, time for release. And I feel by doing that, um, we have leave a stressful situation behind as well have confidence because there is success greater success ahead for some of you so it is time to let go time for release this is about understanding your own power your own potential virgo okay so i have the gold Rider weight deck here. I figured it was appropriate given that we are doing Archangel messages. <laughs> so Virgo, the first card that we will look at is the issue or challenge that you, you need help from the Archangels on. The second card is the advice from the Archangels and the third card is the outcome should you take that advice. Like I said, it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. 
and I'll pull clarifiers where I need to. So first card, the issue or challenge. Virgo needs help from the Archangels with, please. Oh, okay, two cards. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Seven of Cups. Interesting. The Advice. We have the Eight of Wands and the Outcome. Virgo, this is you, the Knight of Pentacles. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to pull one more. Nine of Swords. You know, I don't normally look at the bottom of the deck, but I did glance at it just now, so because I glanced at it, I'm going to put it down, the Empress. Okay. I'm going to start with the Empress, actually. Because the Empress is very much about embracing the new. She is the birth of the new as well. That can be a new baby. She's always pictured as pregnant, so it can be to do with um, the birth of a new child. can be also the birth of a new idea. Um, can generally be linked with, I mean, it can be new jobs, new business investments. can also be to do with new love. I mean, she rules money and love in particular. So there's a big energy of promise when the Empress appears. You lack for nothing in order to fulfill your potential now. Take the steps to co-create your, your reality because that's what she does. The three is about, making, is about the beginnings of manifestation, making something real by understanding that she has tapped into all her resources, her abilities, to create the abundance that surrounds her, the paradise on earth. And she says for you, you lack for nothing. She's very much linked with the law of attraction. What you put out to the universe is what you get back. It is about setting your sights on this positive energy, understanding you have the ability to co-create um, your reality. And now is the time to take the very first step towards that. She is very much about embracing the new. Uh, can sometimes be uh, an influence of a powerful woman in your life as well. I don't normally say that, but the Empress is that, that powerful. That she can be very much about the feminine energy, the feminine influence. Um, a very protective influence as well. So the Seven of, of Cups is... You know, there are different levels of reward in this, in these cups. And this is very much about Venus in Scorpio, understanding that you have the power to bring great transformation to your life, but it's about choosing wisely, choosing your path. This can be about a number of opportunities being presented to you. It can also be about choosing the path that you're taking now. But this person is feeling a bit confused. They don't really know where to look. They don't really understand how to bring their hopes, dreams, wishes, their desires to fruition. And yet that is within your grasp. That is what the Nine of Cups is saying. The wish fulfillment is within your grasp, Virgo. It is about trusting your intuition because you're being guided. Um, this can be about choices having consequences, but it can be positive consequences. And when you trust your instincts, there's a big message here that you can't go wrong. Now, sometimes the Seven of Cups can be where you have... Sometimes it can be the card of empty promises, where you've experienced empty promises from people or a situation. And you just feel that something maybe hasn't materialised. I certainly feel for some of you, either way, this is where you need to really listen to your intuition now in order to choose a new opportunity, a new path, a new connection that will lead to greater happiness. Because it's saying that your hopes, dreams and wishes are within your grasp. You can make it real, the Empress, you lack for nothing. But there's that inner belief I feel for some of you. What is holding you back? What is causing you confusion? 
What is this mist that is coming between you and you making this real? That can be your doubt, your fears, um, emotions clouding your judgment, all of this kind of thing. Big message of to overcome that, trust your instincts and you won't, you won't go wrong, you'll choose wisely. Because for some of you, there is divinely guided opportunity, energy, progress around you. This is a big shift card. The eight is positive change as well here. Um, but you have to take action. That is the advice. There is such opportunity around you, you know. This can be about conversations leading to solid opportunities. This card is about your hope, dreams and wishes hanging out there in the ether. This is about open up to conversations, take action. Some of you might be going for interviews, some of you might be meeting somebody new in a relationship. And um, you know, there is real progress here that can happen, new growth for some of you. A big message on embracing the new to, to bring change to your situation. But there is something that is budding, that is buzzing around you, exciting opportunity, potential for growth. Um, and this is very much about take action to bring a big, big positive change to your circumstances now. Because like I said, this can be about conversations leading to solid opportunities. Um, new opportunities of growth that are very much linked with this, your hopes, dreams, wishes. And again, take action absolutely in your external environment, but do it from a point of listening to your intuition. In order to bring the wish fulfillment card into your life, you know, this is beautiful energy. You know, the Nine of Swords is when it can be about anxiety, upset, despair, worry, um, you know, all of these kind of things, disappointment. When we focus on something negative, we just get more of it. That is the teaching of the Nine of Swords. It's how the mind keeps us in the, that state of feeling self-destructive, that negative energy from within, just owning us from within, not, in a, not allowing us to get perspective. And I certainly feel for some of you, you're being told to reconnect to who you are, Virgo. Work through it. It might feel you're suspended in this energy for a, a little while. You know, the Knight of Pentacles can feel a little bit of a stagnant energy. But it's only because the work that he's been doing is going to reap rewards for the long term. There's long term growth here. There is greater stability, uh, greater success ahead, greater value coming into this night's life from the work that he's been doing. He's been sowing seeds in that field. And the seeds need to put down roots before they become above the surface. But when they appear above the surface, Virgo, that's when he starts reaping the reward of his efforts. There is a big message of the work that you're doing now. You're going to reap the rewards long term. So take action, trust your instinct to make clear choices because this is a period of deep transformation. That Scorpio energy is deep karmic transformation. Whatever the Seven of Cups was, whatever the confusion was, you've learned your lessons from it. And now you're being told to work through it to bring positive change, to stay on track, to get back on track, to bring greater growth, uh, security, solidity, success into your life. Because you lack for nothing. This is very good. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles can also be an opportunity in terms of business career, can also be a fellow Virgo offering you something, could be a connection that you're communicating with that brings a positive shift in your circumstances. There could be an opportunity that is very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. So don't, don't keep yourself in the dark. It is about trusting your intuition to take action to bring real positive change and new growth into your life and stability and value. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Virgo, the sun in Virgo, the sun in Virgo. I mean, I don't really need to say any more. Keep, you know, whatever this nine of swords is, Virgo, don't let it stop you from focusing on your goal. Because when you do, this is the worker card. When you do something that you enjoy, when you focus on one thing at a time, those small steps of accomplishment bring giant leaps. Now, this can be certainly doing something that you enjoy, opportunities, new opportunities coming in to advance yourself, certainly in terms of money and career, and getting the value and recognition, 
not just in your pay packet, not just in terms of money and reward, but in terms of recognition by others for the work that you do. This is very much about you getting back on track to bring greater value into your life. More abundance. A new lack for nothing. Law of attraction. What you put out to the universe, you get back. And you have the cards of positive change here. So now is the time to focus your energies. Do something that's aligned very much with your inner world and your external environment, something that you enjoy, in order to really advance yourself. Because that reward is absolutely coming your way. Keep doing the work, even if it's mundane, because that's where the big shift comes from. But ultimately, leads to this Virgo, the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card. Real, fulfilled happiness and heart's desire. I'm going to pull an Archangel Animal card to finish off the reading. But this is absolutely beautiful, Virgo. So what do we have? What is the message for Virgo, please? Whale, live as a fully conscious being, Archangels, Marys and Jewels. This is being very much about switched on to your path. And you know, the pentacles is our conscious reality. It is linked with our stability, our security, our money and career, our own self-worth, our self-esteem. Um, people that we build our lives around as well. But I certainly feel for you, this is a period of work focus and there is big shifts coming your way and um, certainly in the next few weeks Virgo a big message of leave a stressful situation behind yeah and I'm feeling that shift is coming for some of you when you really focus have confidence that things can change release what's gone and we have untapped energy and this is where you are tapping into your energy the sun in Virgo card to bring real change and new value into your life. Increased value. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.